Yes, sir. This is a moment of great importance. Stay in formation. Make this right. Well, a normal troublemaker who can't contain his wilder nature. Yeah, but we have a cure for that, wouldn't you know? Right? You understand? Next time, no talking. I'll simply run you through. Capito? It. You were not followed. Absolutely. Everything went perfectly. We have followed your orders exactly as specified. The mission to Cyprus, what? <gasps> Ezio, it's been some time. Rodrigo, so, where is he? <laughs> Who? Your prophet. Doesn't look like anybody showed up, Rodrigo. How many people have died for these? For what's in this box? And look, there's nobody here. You claim not to be a believer, and yet here you are. Don't you see him? The prophet is already here. I am the prophet. Now give me the apple. Come and take it from me. That's all you have. Where is the rest of your people? What people? You really have no idea, do you? Guards! Ah! 
Nepote, you are not alone. Volpe? What are you doing here? We could very well ask you the same thing. We? Save your questions, brother. Don't let Borja leave that box. Avanti! Now, you all shall die. Take him down, Ezio! You're right behind you! Oh, come on, Nicolás! Oh, my God! 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 Others didn't need to die. I just killed them to make a point. There is no mercy when you cross the temple. This is this all you have? Where is the rest of your people? What people? You have no idea, do you? Guards!
Uncle! <laughs> Don't worry, Nepote. You are not alone. Volpe? What are you doing here? We could very well ask you the same thing. Me? Save your questions, brother. Don't let Borja leave that box. Avanti! Now, you all shall die. Take him down, Mr. We're right behind you. Come on, let's go down. All of us. I got the hunger for more stuff. This is a very old. He cannot stop this. Your prize and your fault shall be mine. Look, my friend. Our hands will become quite the guerriero. This is a losing battle for you, Ambrosio. You will die by my hand, just like your father. This war has been going on far longer than either of us have played a role. Isn't this like the war? Oh, no. All of us smashing these Templar heads together! No table, lady. You the last time we fought together. Bravi! I should do this more often! The brothers didn't need to die. I just killed them to make a point. There is no mercy when you cross the chapter. <laughs> He's gone, but we have what we came for. No, I need to go after him. Do you really now? Or are you here for another reason, my son? Theodora, what? What are you all doing here? Perhaps the same thing you are, Ezio. Hoping to see the prophet appear. I came here to kill the Spaniard. I couldn't care less about your prophet. He never showed up. No, but you did. What? A prophet's arrival was foretold. And unbeknownst to us, here you are. Perhaps all along, you were the one we sought. Cosa? Who are you? Niccolò di Bernardo de Machiavelli. I am an assassin, trained in the ancient ways to safeguard mankind's evolution. Just like you, and each one of us here. You are all assassins? Paola. Volpe, it's true, Nepote. We have all been guiding you for years, teaching you the skills you would need to join our ranks. I think it's time. We have our prize, but there is much to be done. Come, meet us here at sunset. These are the words spoken by our ancestors that lay at the heart of our creed. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember... Nothing is true. Where other men are limited by morality or law, remember... Everything is permitted. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Nothing, Nothing is, is true. true. Everything, Everything is, is permitted. permitted. It is time, Ezio. In this modern age, we are not so literal as our ancestors, but our seal is no less permanent. Are you ready to join us? I am. This only hurts for a while, brother. Like so many things. Benvenuto, Ezio. 
You are one of us now. Come, we have much to do. Are you okay? Do you want to stop? No! I need to go back. Right now. Uh-oh. Oh dear. Sean? Of course. How could I have forgotten? You want to share with the rest of us? Rodrigo Borgia is elected Pope in 1492. Which means Ezio's greatest enemy is now also the most powerful man in Italy. Always wanted to visit the Vatican. Well, your luck's in, Desmond. Happy days. Because that's exactly where you're going. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. What is it, Leonardo? What does he do? I could no more explain this than explain to you why the Earth goes around the Sun. You mean the Sun around the Earth? It's fabricated with materials that shouldn't exist. And yet, this is clearly a very ancient artifact. The Codex refers to it as a piece of Eden. The Spaniard. He called it the apple. Like Eve's apple, of forbidden knowledge. Are you then suggesting that this thing... This must never fall into the wrong hands. It would drive weaker minds insane. No doubt the Spaniard will be relentless in his desire to gain it back. Ezio, you must protect this with all the skills we have taught you. Take it to Forli. The citadel is walled, protected by cannons, and our ally controls it. Who is this ally? Her name is Katarina Sforza. You don't say. I think I may enjoy this mission. Thank you for everything, my oldest friend. Leonardo, Ezio tells me you travel off into Milano. I have a grand villa in Toscana. You must come visit me there.
look who it is. Madonna. I thought when we met you were a bit special, but an assassin. Hmm. Walk with me, Taro. You're going to love Forley. The cannons in our Cittadella alone go back a hundred years. The artifact will be quite safe there. Forgive me, but I've never heard of a woman ruling her own city before. It's very impressive. Well, it was my husband before, of course. He died. Oh. Sorry. Don't be. I had him killed. Oh. <clears throat> We discovered Girola Moriario was working for the Templars, making a map of the locations of the remaining Codex pages. I never liked the goddamn son of a bitch anyway. He was a lousy father, boring in bed, and a pain in my ass. Look! Oh no! Aspetta! What's happening? They came as soon as you left the city walls, Signora. The city is under attack. What? By who? The Orsi brothers, Signora. Oh, sangue di Giuda. Who are the Orsi? The same canali I hired to kill my husband. It's the Spaniard, of course. The Orsi have no world view bigger than their purse. But how could he know where we were taking the apple? Before we even knew. Because they're not here for the apple, Ezio. They're after Riario's map. Basta with your map, Nicolo. My children are inside. Oh, porco demonio. I found him! This won't take long. Already inside? Double crossing bastards. Is there another way into this place? Aspetta. Perhaps yes. There's an old tunnel under the western wall from the canal. Bene. I'll be right back. Hey, you! Yeah, I'm talking to you. You spineless dogs. You occupy my city, my home. You think I'm going to stand here and do nothing about it? How about I come up here and break your valley off?
Sette, le mie sette. I bet you want to see them, don't you? You wish you could touch them. He's here somewhere. Lake, Find it, don't you? Well, come on down here and give it a this try. Like a real one. <laughs> and I'll kick your no, balls so hard they fly out your nostrils. I may be expensive. Lurido branco di cani bastardi. Tornatevene a casa se non volete finire impallati sulla mura della mia cittadella. Ma forse è per questo che non vi decidete a uscire. Già, scommetto che lo gradiresce assai un bel palo di quercia tu per il culo. Sangue di Dio. Presto Ma dove vi hanno pensato? In un convento... Did anybody witness the killing? Never bring me. 
Aprite la porta! Aprite la porta, presto! It's an ambush! I want answers! Taviano! Forgive me, Signora. They were playing outside when the attack began. I don't know where they are. Reinforcements from the mountains! They are breaching the citadel! Ezio, don't let those bastardi get in here! With me! Caterina! Caterina Sforza! I know you're in there! I have something you may want back! Are you missing any children? 
And it's your auditore. What a pleasant surprise. I take it you would be the Orsi brothers. Ludovico. And Kepko, at your service. Basta! Where are my children? Let them go! Of course, signora. We'll happily give them back for something of yours. A certain map. And a certain apple, brother. See, si, a certain apple indeed. Or shall I slice your baby's necks ear to ear? Bastardi! You think you can threaten me? I'll give you nothing! You want my children? Take them! I have the instrument to make more! When you change your mind, they'll be in the village outside the city! You have one hour! <sighs> Katerina, no. I can't ask you to sacrifice your children. Nobody's sacrificing anything. Go get them back for me, Ezio. See, si. you have my word. The apple needs to remain in the citadel. Keep this safe. Women are no wilting flowers. It may look pretty to the eye, but the eyes deceive. Just ask Babo. I want to stop you now. Imagine I'm scared of you. You'd be very mistaken. My mama would never let you hurt me. And one hair on my little brother's head, she will hunt you down and eat you for breakfast. Capito? Please. You want to see 
your boy walk again, <laughs> Katarina? Give us what we want, or I'll throw him up the edge. Mama, help me! I don't want to be here anymore! Sit down, Marmokio! <laughs> Show yourself! The apple on the map, or your kids are crippled! No! Here! Don't hide those here anymore! I have to pee! Please, Mestere! I need to go to the bathroom! Just let me go pee! Oh, per Dio! Chiudi il becco! what we want, or I'll throw him off the edge. I don't want to be here anymore! Sit down, Marmocchio! <laughs> Katerina was a fool to send you. Or are you the fool, dying for a handful of change? Was it worth it? More than you know. The maestro gains his prize because of me. Vuori col tuo orgoglio, per quanto vale. Reguiescat in pace.
Grazie, signore. What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry, Ezio. I'm so sorry. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked again. Keko Orsi, he has the apple. What? No! Where is he? We chased him out here. But the bastards escaped into the mountains. I'm going. your prize again was it worth it so much bloodshed <coughs> a prize of such value it will not remain yours for long we shall see che miseria nascono dalla vita requiescat in pace God, you're back with us. Are you all right? What happened to you? I... I don't know. One of my guards had the luck to find you in the hills, next to Kekko Orsi's dead body. See, si. 
That I remember. Wait. There was a third man. He took the apple. Who? He wore a black robe, like a monk. And I think... a missing finger. See, si. Katerina, I have to go, right away. Of course. Then you will need this as well. The map Nicolo spoke of. Your husband's... Ex-husband, mio caro. He swore he'd uncovered the locations of all the Codex pages. You will recover the apple, but you will never find the vault without this. You know, there is an abbey in the wetlands near here, where I've seen monks wearing black robes. I'd start there. Now go. Find us a stramaladetto monk. I think I'm going to miss you, Katarina. Oh, I know you will. My fault. Who's hurting me? Please accept my apologies. Send you to your grave.
A little discipline won't hurt. Blessings on you, brother. Grazie. I wonder if you can help me. What do you see? A monk in black robes who lacks one of his ten fingers. Well... Brother Guido has only nine toes. You sure it wasn't a toe? Quite sure. And then there's Brother Domenico, but it's his entire left arm he's lacking. Again, quite sure that it was a finger. Hmm. Now wait a moment. I do recall a black-robed monk with nine fingers. Yes, of course. When we had our last San Vincenzo's feast at the Abbey. Yes, I know the place. I'll try there. Grazie. Go in peace, brother. I always do. Excuse me, brother. I wonder if you can... Uh, unholy demon! Get away! What's wrong? You're the one who killed Brother Stefano! Brothers, the killer of monks has returned!
Please, no. I don't want to die. I only kill those who kill others. And your brother Stefano was a killer. I'm sure you are no such thing. Now, listen to me. I'm looking for a black-robed monk who's missing a finger. Missing a finger, you say? Do you mean, like, Fra Savonarola? Savonarola? Who is this? You know him? I did. He was one of us, for a time. And then? We suggested he retire to a hermitage for a good long time. I'm afraid to say his retreat has come to an end. Where would he have gone? Oh dear. Santo Spirito? In Firenze? It's where he studied. Perhaps it's where he would return. I thank you. Go with God, brother. Hey Desmond, I think I repaired that busted memory. Why don't you try opening it? Piero had only a tenth of his father's talent. We'd still have some place to call home. be looking for trouble. Never should have welcomed that mad monk into the city. Look at all the misery he's wrought. Blindsided! 
I just like the tall one. He's somehow familiar. I don't understand why they'd be so willing to accept his oppression. He just threw us out. Said all we owned belonged to the kids of the San Marco now. Shelly sides of that monster. It's sorcery. How else to explain it? Sometimes I wish the assassino would return to Firenze. That we might be free of his tyranny. It's just a myth. A story parents tell their children. Salve, Ezio. You picked a fine time for a homecoming. Then it's true. Savonarola has taken control of Firenze. Yes. No doubt aided by that treacherous artifact. We should get to work on retrieving it. That may be more complicated than you think. <laughs> when isn't it? Why don't you fill me in on things? Walk with me. It all started a few weeks ago. The man everyone once reviled was suddenly the one they worshipped. Ah, the apple. Only in part. It's not the city he's enthroned, but its leaders. Men possessed of influence and power. They, in turn, oppress the citizens and ensure his will is done. The people act as if they have no say in the matter. Rare is the man willing to oppose the status quo. And so it falls to us to help them see the truth. Those bodies bear the emblem of the Borgia. Yes. The Spaniard keeps sending his soldiers into Firenze. And Firenze keeps sending them back. Usually in pieces. Then he knows the apple is here as well. An unfortunate complication. Qui, let's do it. On 
andiamo. Rod, please let me live. I promise I'll live a better life. Look at my face. Stay close. The director saw it would be dangerous. True. But what other option is there? Aside from the city leaders, the people's minds are their own. Correct? See. Si. And they follow Savonarola not by choice, but force and fear. Then I propose we use this to our advantage. We can silence his lieutenants and stir up discontent. He will be distracted, and I will have a chance to strike. Clever. I'll speak with La Volpe and Paola. They can help to organize the uprising as you free the districts. Then it's settled. I'll take care of his abettors. Please move it before the evening...